Alright, what's up guys? Max Voltage Games here with a tutorial video on a screen capturing program called Bandicam. Um, first off, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to download this and why it's one of the best uh, screen recording programs out there to record um, whatever you want, video games or whatever you decide to use it for. So, um, I'm going to go up here into Bandicam. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Bandicam.com and this is going to be the home screen. Uh, gives you a little bit of information about games you can uh, record with this program and a um, little bit more information. But what you're going to want to do first is click on download or after that you're going to click on download and then you're going to come down here to download now. Uh, either one of these um, to get the software uh, but it's only it's gonna be the unregistered version like it shows right here unregistered I'll show you here in a second what it does um, here's a little f information it's a high performance game recorder uh, high quality and smaller than uh, and is file size and extremely smaller than other software that's um, really actually very good um, about this program cuz there's other screen captures that use up s that have such large file sizes like fraps especially um uh for the more bandicam minimizes the cpu usage which is also very good because if you have a low grade computer like it's saying you'll still be able to record um without using up a lot of c your cpu uh so if you're running games that are uh cpu intensive such as minecraft then this is good software to use with it so uh, let me get down here to the um, information okay uh, this is all the various stuff you can record with Bandicam um, Skyrim all these uh, PC games um, internet TV stream uh, all this stuff desktop screen okay and here's the uh, comparisons between the unregistered and registered the unregistered is what you're gonna download whenever you um, first download Bandicam it's just gonna be the trial version um, you're gonna have a recording li limit of 10 minutes which is actually very good for just being a trial uh, compared to other programs that give you what 30 seconds is what Fraps does um, but this gives you 10 minutes and all it, all you get uh, through the unregistered is a uh, watermark so that's the only downside I would say but uh, if you get a registered version, you have unlimited uh, recording limits, and you don't have a watermark, um, and all of these extras uh, that I will show later once I actually get to the program. <clears> okay. <throat> all right. Now that you know how to download it, let me move on to the actual program itself. Let me expand this. Or here, let me close this and actually. Let me just close in on this real quick. Okay, here are Bandicam. Um, I'm gonna go through all the tabs and uh, good settings you should have for Bandicam. Uh, first off, we're gonna start at the general tab, and this is basically uh, showing you uh, where your uh, videos are gonna be saved after you finish recording them. So uh, you can always change that by just pressing. Or yeah, hold on. Let me show you quick. All right, here's all my videos saved. Um, they're just saved in the default, which is um, the Bandicam uh, document, a uh, folder. And yep, yeah, these are where this is where it's gonna save default after your videos are recorded. They automatically are saved here. Okay, you can easily change that by pressing these three dots and yep alright let's move on to video uh, here is gonna be the important stuff for uh, all your video capturing uh, screen capturing or whatever you want to capture um, okay the first off is the hotkeys uh, I have mine at F9 and F10 just cause they're right next to each other and I've already memorized uh, where they are uh, so make sure when you set your hotkeys, you um, 
know where they are when you're recording so you can easily you know stop the recording or pause it whenever you need to uh, here's also a little addition they have is you can just take off the cursor I have it unchecked obviously because you can see my cursor but um, if you're gaming and you don't want to see a cursor you, it's very good to uh, just check this in okay next we're gonna go to uh, settings this is gonna be basically your sound settings uh, if you were, if you want to record sound for any of your videos, you're gonna have this checked uh, at all times, um, and then you're gonna want to select your primary and secondary device. Uh, it doesn't matter which is which. Um, right now, for my primary, I have my microphone, uh, which is a C C Media uh, USB headphone. Uh, to find out what what it is, you want to get, you're just gonna press settings like I did and then you're gonna wanna go to uh, recording right here and then you're gonna look at uh, microphone see how my um, it's actually showing my volume over here uh, you're gonna wanna look at your microphone look at the name and then just put that in for your primary and for secondary uh, usually uh, recording games and stuff I keep my um, my Vista sound on cuz I have a Vista s I have a Windows Vista computer so um, I'm just going to be running using uh Vista Sound as my secondary device. That all uh that all depends on what uh sound device you uh what com type of computer you have and what sound device it uses. Um all right, uh if you want to have both of them playing at the same time, you're going to want to check uh two sound mixing, which uh mixes your primary and secondary into one audio track. Uh that's good for gaming, definitely. Uh, if you're going to do commentary over that and still have the gaming sound. Or you can also put only record secondary device. Alright, here's logo. Um, I don't really use a logo. Uh, but it's still there. You can always add a logo. Uh, whether, it doesn't really matter what your logo is. But you can add a logo very easily just by checking this. And selecting the image and putting the position, which is nine different positions here. Uh, as you can see. Alright, that's about it on settings. Um, let's move on to other stuff. Here's format. Uh, this is going to be your video and audio format. I'm going to open that up to settings. And um, for recording, I have I keep it at full size. Um, okay, your FPS is going to be um, your preference. Uh, I'm running mine at 30 FPS, uh, which is frames per second, just because I don't have the greatest computer, so... Uh, I can't. It's a little bit harder for me to run at higher FPS. Um, basically, the higher FPS you have, uh, the less uh, laggy it's gonna look. But um, 30 FPS is still gonna have basically no lag when you're recording. So you can always make that lower if you don't have a good computer, or higher if you have a better one. All right. So um, codec, you can leave default and quality. Uh, you can leave default. Well, I did. Uh, you can always change that. Uh, whether you want the quality better or worse depends on you okay here's the audio okay I have my channel on mono uh, just because I'm recording with uh, two devices um, and I this is m the frequency that I have I'm using right now because this is the frequency my microphone and um, obviously my microphones using and my secondary device are using so you're gonna put you're gonna want to put it at this at the frequency that you're using uh, you can always go back to settings or no not setting or yeah you could always go back to settings and then these the setting again and double click your microphone and then go to le or uh, go to advanced and see what hurts you're um, actually using uh, what your fo hurts format is uh, I'm gonna keep my I, keep, I usually keep my microphone level at 70 but you can change that between 70 and 100 that's what I usually leave it at though okay let's move on to let me close this up let's move on to um, image this isn't going to be as important stuff but um, it's still there you can capture images it's this is the default hotkey you can change your format uh, of the picture to high quality or normal um, that's all so uh, I have mine at f11 because that's also close if you want to capture an image it's a pretty cool addition of this program um, so that's about it guys uh, if you have any questions 
about this program you can always leave a comment in, uh, down below and um, if you have any concerns you can also leave a comment about that but if this helps you with uh, any set problem with settings or anything uh, make make sure you can like you can always like the video and um, thanks for watching guys uh, I will see you next time